Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Jake's RC stuff. I've come back off another 8 o'clock finish and it's quarter past 10 so basically similar to the Mini Talon video but it is the day after and we're actually going to be working on some stuff for the Nano Talon. Um, so I'm basically going to be showing the parts that we're going to be putting in it first and I want this to be the first video seeing as like people are away so I can sort of spend time doing it even though it's late at night and the iPhone pre-orders tomorrow which I want to be up for in reasonable time because I'm desperate for a new phone. Um, so we're going to be going over some of the parts I'm going to use. I also want this, as I was saying, to be the first video where instead of me just sort of unboxing it and then either talking about it after I've done stuff or talking about it like in, in an overview like I did with the Mini Talon, I want to try and record stuff as I go along as much as I can. Depends what happens after tonight, but tonight is going to be sort of to see how that goes. Uh, there's going to be a lot of editing for me, um, I hope. <laughs> Hopefully it'll be produced nicely, um, but before we start sort of building the Mini Talon, I'm just going to go over the bits we're going to be putting in it. Um, so for those who don't know about the Nano Talon, I'm talking about the Nano Talon in this video. If I say Mini Talon, I probably mean Nano Talon, unless moments where I obviously mean Mini Talon. As you can tell, I'm fucking naked. Um, so because it's a plug and play, the one thing that you need to get flying is a receiver. Can we do a bit of this? Oh, look at that. Slightly out of focus. So yes, this is from Head in the Clouds RC. I believe this is one of the last ones they were selling. Um, they were a small shop. They seem to be sort of slowing stuff down. Uh, this is a four channel Immersion RC Easy UHF. Let's rip her open. Four channel. Because um, that's really all I need. I can make it it like what, what bits have gone absolutely everywhere? So, this is still a full channel, um, yeah, full channel, full range. Tell I'm tired, can't you? Um, it's just a smaller package, so it's four channel with, you've possibly seen these before. Focus ring. Um, so you'll buy in there for the, I de cased this for the X1. Not going to bother with this. Um, but yeah, four channels, one antenna, push button, light. Um, USB plug-in, um, so we're going to have to get that on the right software version on 1.48, that's what I use just because it's what I started with and everything's just kept the same so I don't have to bind them all again. Um, so we've got to change the software, change the band and then get it bound. Um, it comes with some sort of bits of heat shrink for water and protectionness I presume. Um, then it's got a Likers on Twitbook. Um some Immersion RC stickers and then some like squidgy labels. I presume the idea is you can stick them on there and then heat shrink them or something or something. I don't know. But that is the receiver. Um, now of course with it being an FPV model, let me just put that in the box, all this crap over stuff came out. Oh but it's brilliant when you drop it on the floor. Um we're going to need some FPV gear, and the FPV gear I have chosen is... And... Roughly focused, come on, that. Of course we've got the Isheen uh, TX526 um, 40 channel, 25, 260mm watt adjustable. We've got that, um, we've also got some of the Aonway antennas, all this stuff of course from Banggood, and... Uh, if the links are in the description, I will be making a either a kit list, there's a site called kit list, uh, or an Excel spreadsheet. Also, the first time I'm going to be using one of the cheapo um, like 12 quid FPV transmitters, or at least that's what they were when I bought them. And lastly, came recently in the post, um, these are, you probably can't see it because of how shiny it is and how rusty it is. Listen to that, I need to keep looking at time. Uh, this is just a 90 degree bend for antennas. So, let's show you what we've got. I'm not sure if I've unboxed one of these on the channel before, probably. Uh, so we've got the cable that you need to solder an end on. All, everything on the floor. Why don't we just work on the floor, everybody? It'll be a lot easier. We've also got the rub ducky antenna that nobody uses. That can go in the bin with the Dean's connectors from the FY41. So there is the little Transmitter itself, we've got the cable. Again, there's going to be, need to be some soldering on this, which I just hope I'm awake enough for. Something I probably should have done 
uh, before I started this actually, was put one of the soldering irons on. Um, in fact, actually, and I apologise in advance for the boiler. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause it now. But there's the cable. Uh, I'm going to pause it now. I'm going to make sure the boiler doesn't come back on again and set one of the uh, soldering irons going. So just bear with me. Okay, so that is a uh, boiler shut off and soldered iron shut on or opened on or whatever you want to call it. So we have the video transmitter, we can screw that on, ready for accepting of the Aeon Way antenna. So there's going to be two in here. Um, I, these things I'm not going to use, these little protectors. I've lost one already. I did open just to check they were the right colour. So uh, this should be able to just screw on the top of there. So that's how that's going to be, he says. Let me actually do it near my face so I can see what the hell I'm doing. Uh, cable goes, of course, in the back connector there. Like that. And then cheap power TV camera. We've seen these before on the channel. Uh, that. Uh, we've also got the frame in here and the controller, but what I'm going to get out for now is just the cable. So this is the cable. We'll stick that in the right way around, he says. Yep. Come on. So yeah, that's all plugged in correctly. Top is like that, so the cable comes out the top, which is a little bit strange. Um, but yeah, that's ready. So somehow we need to solder those together and get power to it. Um, but don't, don't be afraid. I've been promising to do this for a while. I have wire leads. I will be doing my basic FPV system connection doodah. I have solvent of wire leads. I'll decide which one is best. Let me just... I'll keep that there. Keep that, keep that. And then these bits. I'm trying to keep things a little bit neat. Could bin that box. Got those. So that is basically the FPV gear. That's going to go on top of the canopy. That's going to go inside the model, pointing out the front, and then a wire lead to connect everything together. And depending on what I decide to do, one of these as well, what these are. I bought them cheap from Hobby King a while ago. Cut that end off, and then you've got a 3S JST connection to uh, go on the end of a 3 cell battery. Like that. So I can just cut this end off and solder the wires onto the end of the wire lead. Or I'm going to solder them straight onto the speed controller, which we'll move on to now. Uh, so let me. Chuck all that junk back in the parts box. Um, so, with this being a plug and play, you do of course get most electronics in the box. Um, but something I was not that impressed about, and it's been brought up by other people, is this. This is the speed controller that comes in um, with the Nano Talon. So it's a 30 amp fly color, um, 5 volt, 1 amp back. I don't think this is. 30 volts, I think it's more like 12 to be brutally honest. Uh, it's a multi rotary SC, I'm not that bothered, it's a multi rotary SC, it's just the amperage. I don't like that it's only got a 1 amp back. Let's do a focusing job, maybe not, maybe yes, 5 volts, 1 amp. I don't like that, but what I got in the Hobby King order that gave me the wire leads and things is. Da -da -da -da, Hobby King, 30 amp new back. I used one of these in an AXN. At Seemed fine until I crashed the XN and broke the PCB in half. That's how hard it hit the floor. Uh, but this is 2 to 4S, 30 amp, 5 volt, 3 amp back. You can see there. Um, so that's why I'm happy. But I don't really like going below 3 amps, to be brutally honest. There's a few models that I do have 2 amps in, but they're like real light foamies. If that was a 2 amp, I might have left it, but I've decided to go for this. Um, so the first thing that we're going to be doing, and that's why I've actually got the more oomph soldering iron on than the little soldering wires for FPV stuff, is I'm going to be... This is the motor from the Nano Talon. 
Um, so the way this works is basically you've got that screw on the top to hold it from going back and forwards. So when you do this screw it just pushes out the back and you've got this bloody long cable. Um, so what's, what's good about that is when you run out of props, um, you can just put a normal mini quad motor on the back of it. Uh, I, when I get to that stage I'll probably stick on a T-Motor MN2206 2000kV, stuff like that. Um, that'll be what I'll stick on the back of it because the shaft is too short for any other prop. So what we need to do is we need to get, first job is to get those and those together. I don't like hard soldering stuff, it's nice and easy to swap stuff out if they've got connectors on. What I've got to decide is whether I'm going to, and I already know the answer to this, is whether I'm going to put 2mm on these, which I'm not never going to get those wires in, um, or stick 3mm on these and um, be cautious with them. So what I'm going to do, which is the reason why this has been taken out, is I'm actually going to um, put 3.5mm bullets on uh, each end. So. Female on here, male on this, same as what's already on it, just the next size up. The size is, I bought a load recently from the Bang of Good. Here they are, I think I've got the Bang of Good sticker on them still. Uh, not separated, which some other brands do. Actually, I've got the pivot mat there, three males, three females. Um, so put females on here, males on there. Um, on this end, the batteries we're going to be using are Thrace 2200s. I've got a 1800 here because this is just what I had. Jake 20C. Because uh, I still need a 40C which my dad bought. So, Considering I cheaped out on the batteries he decided to put labels on them so uh, I had to use my batteries because I cheaped out on them. Which, <laughs> fair enough. Uh, and by cheaped out I said like a quid on each battery and I bought four. Um, so I use these 3.5mm ones, not always with the plastic on. In fact, the 2200s I've got don't have the plastic things on, so it's just three and a half mil bullets. Um, so they're actually going to go on the other end as well, the black and the red, uh, and then of course we've just got the regular throttle on there. And because I'm going to be using the inbuilt back, um, I'm not going to remove the red wire, of course, because that's where all of the power comes from. So I'm not sure if I'm going to try and bring this hot soldering iron over here because at least it will be sort of warm or if I'm going to try and move the camera over there. I'm not sure, but we will see what happens, won't we now? Yes, we will. <laughs> 